Hello everyone, this is Adit back again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to use uh, Formic with uh, React Native App. So, mm, we are going to cover almost everything that for, um, not everything, but uh, most of the part that for, um, we use uh, in our um, kind of a normal app uh, that uh, we have uh, validations and all in a sign up form. And so that's the reason I have choose, uh, choose to use a uh, sign up form over here. And uh, here I have just initialized an empty project and uh, I have added some codes uh, here. These are the codes I have added just uh, to view something already. And uh, here are the some stylings as well. Uh, you can grab that uh, grab this code from the description below. And uh, now. We're going to add uh, Formic to it. So for that, uh, let's uh, first of all let's go to the Formic docu uh, docs. Okay, it, uh, it is um, Formic, and uh, we're going to get start with that. And uh, once uh, we go to, uh, we need to install this package. So to do that, we're just going to copy this command and uh, run it in our term terminal inside our project directory. And uh, once we run that, it got installed. It's I think it's quite a small package, I guess. I haven't checked it though, but yeah. Um, actually, I think my extension is not working. It's continuous calculating and still this is not up to cal calculate so anyway now we can just uh, use formic in our app so for that to use formic we need to wrap all these things uh, all this form component inside uh, uh, wrap all these things inside formic so let's do that Okay, so for forming is already in, in imported here, so I don't have to do it manually. And uh, once uh, we're gonna need to wrap all the comp JSX inside uh, this um, formic. Okay, and uh, this is showing some error just because uh, it. Uh, needs only one child and uh, here we have provided uh, three of them like this one and uh, this one and this one so we are just going to wrap this inside react fragment and this will work completely fine now okay well, let me just format it first i forgot to add the eslint format so anyway we will do that later and now we're gonna head back to formic docs and inside react native we're gonna just um, grab these codes okay we're gonna put the, this this is for the initial value and um, of course in our app we need a username and password so let's keep it like a username for email in that way, I, I will be able to show you how to use email validations as well. So for that, yeah, email and second one is the password. And this is the empty state as well, initially. And uh, this uh, on submit, we'll talk about this later. And uh, now this provides uh, more features as well. And for that, let's just go back to here in Formic Doc, and here it is. These are the functions uh, that uh, we can use. So let's just grab this. Below Formic, just grab this one. This, and now whole component. Uh, these components will uh, go inside it. Make sure to add the fragment as well, otherwise, this will throw an error. I think I
here now our app still looks good and now for the um, email we can just use um, handle change text I guess okay so why this is not showing already let's go over here on change text okay i thought it's a handle change anyway on change text we're gonna just pass uh, handle change and here we're gonna just put the name email okay and in and for blur as well you can just put uh, blur email make sure to use this same keyword okay and uh, this should be remain same i guess so yeah and uh, now we just put the value as well and to access the value we just have we have here values we just put uh, values and uh, i think email is already accessible here so here when we press dot and uh, this is the email so yeah so we have added a i think there is no need to a space and here it is so okay so we are getting some error and that is uh, is not an you know, object why we are getting this device not enough so actually there was no issue with with our app it just uh, we need to restart the server as we made some changes in package.json by installing formic so yeah so now this is working completely fine and this this does recognize this values dot email so yeah and now same thing let's do this inside inside uh, this um, password as well on change text and uh, there's a handle change password and on blur handle blur password and uh, the last thing is as we all know value so values dot password and once we save that it looks completely fine till now and here we just pass uh, for on sub um, on press we can just submit it so handle submit okay so till now it looks fine and now we can test state as well so let's just type something over here and uh, and uh, once we hit the submit let's see some here we have email and uh, password so here now we have successfully um, got our data in a console as well now we are going to move forward and here we need to add a secure test and text entry as uh, this one is the uh, uh, um, password so true so now this displays as a, as a password and uh, after that we're gonna uh, have some additional values as well just to add uh, some views when user uh, tap on anything and uh, we need to have some focus on it so for that we can just uh, have uh, I guess touched and uh, errors and we can grab all these values from here and uh, yeah so 
touched error and uh, let's check all these values by just pressing okay i think uh, it will display all of them here is the all the values you can just uh, press control and spacebar over here in mac uh, i'm not sure about um, i think in windows it's uh, control plus spacebar as well so yeah and yeah, status very simpler and all these values we're gonna use as much as we can and uh, rest we just leave it anyway so we are getting touched and uh, once the once user touched uh, on uh, the, any of the input fields then we're gonna change its border color so for that uh, let's create uh, another styling and as input box active and here we're just gonna put uh, border color to some other color like uh, border color and let's put sign now okay and uh, input box active okay so here in uh, views where we have already a input box so just get this and uh, on touched we're gonna add uh, styles dot input box active or just now so i think it's on touched right If dust is equal to true only then it should uh, display the I think it's not working the way it should be here actually to make uh, this uh, input box active and inactive I'm kind of making some mistake over here so actually it is like uh, it should be a uh, dust dot email and in that way when user clicks on this this will get active so let me i think we need to remove this one as well okay so now when user select this one this is active and the same thing we're going to do over here as well and this will be the uh, touch toward password and uh, this one so that uh, when user click on uh, any of the things then the password will be active and and other will be uh, other are inactive so i think it should be this way but uh, just somehow i don't know why we had the, both of the things are active so Anyway, let's just uh, stick with this for now and uh, think uh, I'm making some mistake over here again it's because um, this one is for active and this one is for inactive. And uh, when the one is this one is not active, then it shouldn't uh, show this uh, sign color. But anyway, it's uh, showing. If anyone knows about how to resolve this uh, you can put the comment in the description below and uh, the similar way we can use uh, the error as well for uh, making uh, this uh, red and black so for that let's just do this one as well and, uh, okay so let's just do this I just want to convert this to return so that I can put something over here some of the functions so over here so const uh, and uh, this one will be retouched and uh, touched 
email and trust dot email then now i'm just gonna go with this one So scrap this and uh, in case it is dust and uh, okay, let's just put over here will it work I think it's working okay so and a similar way we can put for error as well like for uh, right now i'm not uh, sure where to put that conditions and uh, to change uh, the background color of course uh, can we do this like const error and uh, this one will be error start email and then styles dot error field styles dot no error field okay uh, we haven't created this two these two I just add this over here So let border color like um, red and the second one would be no error field anyway this can no if there is no error it will just stick with the black one I guess I'm not sure what I'm doing I'm just uh, trying to figure out uh, to resolve uh, to show this error box over here uh, so. okay so it's by default now the test is not working so i think we just remove this for now there must be a better way of doing this uh, but uh, right now i'm not sure and uh, yeah so this is on uh, now we're gonna put some validations as well to our email and uh, passwords and for that we're gonna need to install a package called yup and you can look into that uh, in the official doc here it is inside the validation You will have to find uh, something ready to yep uh, yeah here it is yep so we can just scrap this and uh, to add this to our project okay pm strong yep okay and uh, so here the introduce will install this package So yep is installed and now we're gonna import it in our app and we can just import the same way so let's just grab the copy and uh, put it over here and to put the valid validation schema we can just uh, pass like this so let's just copy this one as well and uh, validation schema and sign up schema is not there so just uh, we need to create this one sign up schema okay uh, we don't have uh, the first name but we do have the email address email so and uh, here we have the uh, password as well and uh, inside password we're gonna just put uh, string of course and then minimum five and uh, maximum could be anything i guess 
I'll just keep it like this and uh, dot required required okay and uh, minimum and we can add uh, this text over there as well for error just put this to sort we just pass it and uh, to render the error i think i will just uh, do one thing and uh, that is like uh, Let's put uh, let's open our app first and here error start uh, email only then this will exist otherwise null so the text would be errors dot email now let's try this once so when we type uh, we are not typing an email then we are getting invalid email over here we can change its text as well so let's just add uh, styles dot error field and uh, error field uh, color red instead of from this one let's just comment this and the similar way i think uh, the password uh, can have the same thing you just grab this and here instead of email it would be password and here fill email dot password so password is required now and uh, when we type uh, to sort to sort to sort and after that it's completely fine yes yeah, so so we have successfully added the validations as well over here by using formic and um, this is one way of doing these things uh, uh, using formic and uh, there is another way of doing this in a functional component as well uh, anyway we were using the functional component over here but uh, right now we are not using formic hook and uh, we can use that as well for to use formic hook it's kind of the similar thing uh, codes will remain almost similar and uh, just few changes so let's try to do that as well And uh, here, this one is for forming. I think uh, first of all, I just commit this one at least. Now we're gonna use uh, React. Uh, gonna use uh, a formic hook, and so for that, here when you look into the docs, and you will have to find that uh, formic uh, use of uh, how to use use formic. Okay, and I personally choose most of the time to use uh, this hook only, and. I don't know why but I just like it so but uh, you um, anyway the same things will remain same so let's just uh, put uh, use formic as well here I'm just gonna restructure it and grab the all the things that we're gonna need and uh, Uh, 
and you will have to get this handle change and values errors touched so all those things are we are getting and uh, after this we can just put uh, our code inside here this initial values and uh, on submit will go right here and this should not be the echo sign but uh, just some few changes and uh, we'll, we'll go to work with this this should not be here but, uh, it's a function now but, uh, okay so i'm making some mistake values and uh, why this salary is over here oh, okay we are going to remove this one yeah so and uh, then we just remove uh, let me after this we can just remove this one and from down there as well just remove this and uh, these three and uh, now value stored password and i think it should be working okay no it's not working and can't find the various styles okay this is different now i think we're gonna need to restart our servers and it will i think it will be working completely fine after that Uh, so here by mistake I have deleted a uh, style uh, of a style sheet so I don't know how I deleted it uh, but yeah it got deleted so now our style sheet is looking completely fine and our app built as well so let's just see retouched dot email is not defined so yeah so here uh, we were having this retoast and const let's just check our app again And uh, now everything is defined, I guess. And everyone should work, but uh, I don't know why this is not uh, showing anything. I need to restart it again. okay so we for, uh, forgot to import this uh, handle submit as well so let's just import handle submit i think this is the important one and we forgot to import this so. handle submit is already imported and still it is showing the same error i don't know what's happening with the
so it's here starting now and uh, we will have to see yeah so this one is working complete uh, as it is we can try adding some and uh, you need to add some validations and this validation schema is not working here i guess so so here we have added the validation was like this so it should not be you know inside an object but it's just a here schema and uh, now our app is working complete as it is the way it was working uh, without using hook and uh, yeah okay so this is it for this video and i hope you learned something from this video and if you find this video helpful and you like the video consider subscribing and uh, thank you for watching